room tour of our quarantine hotel. We are going to be here for, um, I think two or three nights, depending on how the regulations change. So I finished up my shower just in time for breakfast. The quarantine hotel will supply um, all your meals and stuff. I got this like blueberry cream cheese sandwich. It just sounded so good. And then, oh, oh okay. Um, my mom got these milk puff thingies. This actually looks good. Oh, this is for my mom. She got herself a roast chicken sandwich. And then we got one more sandwich. I think this is like, oh, Japanese roast chicken and egg. That one is for me. My mom got her favorite with snacks and she also got herself crackers i decided to get a bottle of milk tea just to like drink throughout the day as well as a cup of coffee i think this is a latte but honestly like uber eats everything was in chinese so i literally could not read anything but yeah a quick little convenience store haul um it's currently i think 7 a.m. or 6. So it's about 7, I think it's like 7.45, quarter to 8 a.m. And I'm finally walking outside. It seems like everything is closed. Good morning to the lovely viewers of this vlog. I'm in a freaking incredible mood today because your girl has just finished her three-day quarantine it actually felt like two weeks had gone by i'm not even kidding but anyways i can reintegrate into society starting today i'm so happy i'm so excited to finally be out on the streets did i mention where i am i'm in taiwan so i'm still pretty jet lagged and then i woke up at like 4 a.m today um, got ready and then at around like 7 a.m. I went for a walk outside and there's nothing open. Like literally everything opens at 11 or 12. That means I have nothing to do right now. Um, so I'm just like killing time in the hotel until everything opens. It is so, so, so humid. I had like styled my hair, I curled it and everything. By the time I stepped outside, it was like raining and so humid that like my hair instantly fell straight and became so frizzy. So I threw it up in this hairstyle. I just wanted to like show you guys. <laughs> because it is so so windy and so rainy outside i decided to just come back to the hotel and kind of try and wait for the rain to settle down a little bit because it's like impossible to be outside good evening so i am just waiting for my uber the workers are actually really, really cheap, by the way. But yeah, I'm waiting for my Uber because I'm headed to go to Zara first, and then I'm gonna be meeting Annie's friends for um, dinner tonight, which I'm excited. They made a reservation somewhere, and the restaurant looks pretty cute. Ah, yes. You gotta show me a picture of her. I'll show you exactly what she looks like. 
hotel is actually the same branch or the same brand same chain hotel chain but this one's way nicer Shoes are just my Nike Dunks, and then bag is Balenciaga bracelet from Vitaly. And yeah, I'm just like waiting for my Uber right now. I just wanted to show you guys real quick one of these lunches that the quarantine hotel got us. So when I saw it, I was like, what is this bag in a cup? So it's like two bags, one bag with noodles and the other bag with like soup. And I think there's like some meat in here too. So funny. because I'm going to be visiting the Taipei Fine Arts Museum today.
the MRT but by the train station there's this big like I don't know if that's like an international food hall maybe something like that it's quite empty maybe because it's only Tuesday but yeah this place is so cute and I just bought myself some jewelry I'll show you the other two pieces later but I got this ring on my middle finger here I thought it was pretty cute <laughs> have like a Muji cafe here and I'm just looking through the snacks and they have these um popcorn so they have like chocolate popcorn and then this I don't know how to say it but it's like a tea a tea flavored popcorn which I'm really enticed to buy hold on I'll show you guys the rest. They also have salty cheese popcorn, caramel rose salt popcorn, butter chicken curry popcorn. Oh my gosh! So I think I'm going to get the uh, tea flavor popcorn. Every time I think about Taiwan, I don't know why. I just left like the biggest impression on me last time I came. No, that's okay. My mom has secured her first place. <laughs> She's very happy. A complete mess ignore my hair but I thought that I would do a quick haul for you guys of all the stuff that I bought today because I did do like not so much shopping but I did buy some stuff so let's get into it 
What do we have in the first bag? Oh, okay. So I literally just bought like a hair dye because I realized that my hair just keeps losing the black dye and I want to keep it black. So I got this hair dye and all of the hair dyes that they have are like natural black or dark dark brown they just don't have like a black black hopefully this one is black enough i don't know but on the girl like her hair looks really dark to me so i got scissors in case because i wanted to give my hair a trim it's just looking so sparse at the ends <laughs> i don't know why oh oh my god chill can you just stay I got this um, like chain belt. I just saw a pull-in bear. I was kind of surprised that they had this. I thought it would be really cute to style. Like for example, with like a long black maxi dress or like black maxi skirt, something. And then just like throw it on top. I thought it'd be really cute. And to wear with one of those like silver pendant necklaces that are being really popular right now. I think it would be really nice. So yeah, got that. I'll show you guys, I didn't buy this today, but I bought it um, a day or two ago, and it's just from Zara. And it's this little mini skirt. This is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I should have taken it out of the bag. It's so wrinkled now, but it just looks like this. And I really like it because she has shorts underneath, so it'll feel extra secure, which I love. Oh, this is another thing that I picked up from Zara on the same trip. It's like this toque. I don't know why I've been like into toques lately, but should I try this on or is it going to mess up my hair even more? I'll try it on. So it just looks like this. I feel like it would, you know, keep me warm and stuff in the wintertime or whatever toques do. Next, I got these um, tea flavored popcorns from Muji. Actually, I'm going to taste test this right now and tell you guys how it is. So, first try. This is what it looks like. It's brown. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, it tastes like hoji cha. Okay. Mmm. I would give this like 8.9 out of 10. No, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Mm. Anyways, I really like these jelly snacks. They're called Konjac, or is it Cognac? Konjac um, jellies. And then they just happened to be buy one, get one free. So I got a yuzu flavor and an apple flavor. I really like apple flavor stuff. I love apple milk, which I can only get in Taiwan. And then I saw on TikTok that everybody was talking about the La Roche Posay Cicaplast B5. I literally have no idea what this is, but people were saying it's good. So yeah, but like to me, it's literally just like random words. I have no clue what any of this says. I'll let you know if it's good. Next, oh, I got more jelly. What the fuck? <laughs> Apple jelly, mango jelly. I got this, um hair repair oil because obviously like my hair is not looking that good so it tends to get really frizzy i'm hoping that this is gonna help with it i think it's supposed to smell like honey and then i got floss don't forget to floss and then this like face wash because i've been literally washing my face with a bar soap since i forgot to bring a face wash Oh, I got some jewelry, guys. So first are these little, like, dangly red earrings. Honestly, should I take it out? I'll take it out for you. Just for you. So, they're these, like, dangly, dainty red earrings. I saw my friend Colleen. She, like, stacked. She stacked some little red earrings with her gold earrings, and it just looks so cute together. So I thought I would pick some up. Next, I have rings. The first ring I have looks like this. It's like um, emerald accent. Oh, the camera's not doing it justice. Oh, no, it, it looks pretty. Okay, so emerald with these little crystal gems around it. This gold ring, and it's got daisies on it. 
I just think it looks so like cute and dainty on the hand. And then the last one I got is this ring right here. Can you see? It's like a thick gold band with gems down the middle where there's a slit. I got this. It's like an ear cuff. Because um, every cartilage piercing I've tried to get has gotten infected and kept on getting like snagged by my hair so I just took them all out and then I thought that I would get an ear cuff to try and replace them and then lastly I got these cross earrings it's like three gold crosses stacked I hope you enjoyed this mini haul of all this random stuff that I bought but I'm just gonna get ready for bed now actually I might dye my hair either way it's the end of the night and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So I have left my other hotel, my quarantine hotel, finally. And I've arrived to my next hotel. And it's actually such a cute little like boutique vibe hotel. So I thought I would give you a quick room tour. This is the... um. This is the Kimpton Da'an Hotel in Taipei. So first you walk in, this is what you see. And then to the right, we just have the toilet. And to the left, there's actually this, I think it's a some kind of shoe cleaning station. They've got these shoe brushes. I think I see some slippers there, which is amazing. I love when hotels supply that. And then here we have the sink. Um, the sink area here there's me and then we have the shower right here and into the bedroom this is what the bedroom looks like there's my stuff and then there's this little seating area excuse my mess with this cute little cane chair this is the view from the other side of the room Got a TV here, I'll be watching Netflix. And the balcony, they gave me a room with a balcony. This is the little balcony out here. It's actually pretty big. I feel like it's connected to like all the other rooms. So I always like to unpack um, my clothes and have them laid out when I get to the hotel. And I just wanted to show you guys how I've done it. So I've got my coats and like sweaters outerwear here and then I'll put all of my pants on one hanger just because usually a hotel would not offer enough hangers for all your clothes to be put separately so I'll put all my pants on one hanger here I have skirts and a two top and then these hangers are so nice because you can just like slip your clothes through and you can see I have all of my tank tops and anything that can hang basically just all displayed on this one hanger and then everything that I cannot hang is just on this hanger I know it's so messy I'm not super organized with this but um yeah lawn sleeves and things that cannot hang on this I'll put here um yeah this is my little system it's not that great but I just thought I would show you <laughs> doing some kind of like university event tonight i think there's gonna be a little gathering or party or something i'm honestly not too sure but we're gonna get ramen first and i just got ready i thought i would show you guys what i'm gonna wear so i just have my skims t-shirt on and then a little schoolgirl skirt from zara and then this belt i actually just got from Paula and bear and then I'm just wearing my sneakers because I didn't bring enough shoe selection, okay? This is the outfit and I'm just wearing this like big ass hoodie over it because I'm gonna go walk around do some shopping first and I feel like I'm a little bit overdressed. People don't dress up like too hard during the day here so it's easy to feel overdressed, but yeah. <laughs>
I just spent so long walking around um, the little alleyways and there's so much fun, but I barely ate today. And there's still like over an hour until dinner. So I'm gonna go and try to find myself like a snack or something to eat. But I will say that like so far, this has been my favorite activity. Sorry. Walking around the alleys has been my favorite activity because that's where all the little boutiques, cute cafes, everything is. So it's just like so like romantic, you know? sun since I've arrived in Taiwan and it just looks so much prettier like the city just feels completely different so I just walked out to a local little like street stand selling breakfast um it was owned by this old couple and I don't know why something about these like traditional little Taiwanese cute breakfasts are my favorite thing like this just makes me so happy I got an egg roll um, with pork floss and a sandwich. There must be some kind of big bread crust dumpster in Asia because literally they do not eat bread crust anywhere here. Hello. So I kind of fell off of vlogging for a couple of days. Um, because I was just preoccupied kind of living and hanging out with people and um, anyways I fell off of vlogging for a few days but today is Saturday and I just switched hotels again it was just like the way that we had to book the hotels it ended up being this way so I just switched over to the Marriott Hotel and then I thought I would give you guys a quick room tour so you walk in and then to the left is this washroom. I love this washroom so much because it's just so big. There's a little tub on the side here, the main mirror, the shower over here to the right, and then the toilet over there. And then when you move on to the rest of the room, we have a full length mirror here. This is my outfit, kind of basic, um, Kangol hat, Top is from Zara, pants are from Zara. So the room looks like this. I like it because the ceilings are quite high, so it's like pretty spacious, not claustrophobic. You've got the bed here, and then... I haven't seen the view yet, so we're gonna take a look together, but today is really gloomy. I don't know if it's gonna be... Oh my gosh, it's like the forest. Wait, this is so cute. I just spent 20 minutes looking for my phone because I dropped it under this bench and then I thought I lost it. I'm now very stressed, um, but I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day before I left. Hold on, let me unzip this. So I just have this tube top on. This is from... Oh, I had this on in my last vlog. God damn, where is it from? Uh, oh, called Naked. And then jacket is garage, skirt is from Zara, and I'm just wearing my dunks. I'm gonna... Head on out and meet my friends at a restaurant bar for dinner. Yeah. Even if my camera breaks, I picture you, I picture me with you, with you. Even when I'm at your place, I feel like I am the first one here because I'm right on time. I got this. Um, Strong? 
So I just went to pick up some breakfast slash, slash lunch. I got this cafe milk. I was gonna get the apple milk um, because I really love apple milk, but I figured it's early, so I should get myself a coffee. I got two tea eggs from 7-Eleven, and 7-Eleven will sell these like tea eggs as well as sweet potatoes. And it is just my favorite thing ever to snack on them throughout the day because the 7-Elevens are everywhere. The tea eggs are so cheap. I think they're about 45 cents Canadian each, so perfect snack. And then I got myself some sushi, and this looks so bomb. And it's also pretty cheap, it's about like six dollars for all of these. So I'm excited to eat. Even when I'm at your place, I feel like home, I feel like home with you. to the most beautiful day and the view just looks stunning you guys i think i got bit by a spider or something the other day like i don't know if i should be worried but the um the itchiness and swelling and stuff is going down but it just keeps on getting more and more dark <laughs> I'm at another night market with my mom and I think this one is called like Tong Tonghua or something. What is this night market called? Tonghua. Oh Tonghua night market and it's actually quite busy like
Okay, so I'm just chilling at the Ava Air Airport lounge right now. Um, I'm waiting to get on my flight. It's actually only 9.30 and my flight is at midnight, but I just thought I would show up to the airport a little bit earlier and sit here and basically edit my videos. Yeah, I can't believe that I'm already leaving Taiwan. I feel like it went by quite fast. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to sit down and kind of like review the trip you know this was kind of my first trip like a lone trip solo trip i did come with my mom but she spent most of her time with her family and then i did stay by myself at a hotel because there's just not enough room in their apartment for me it's genuinely true that traveling by yourself is such a different experience from traveling with other people or somebody else not to say that it's like significantly better but it is definitely a really good chance to you know enjoy your own company and learn to enjoy your own company because i do know that a lot of people struggle with that and i did struggle with that myself too um especially you know when i first moved out and like started living alone never done that until last year i did spend a lot of time with friends that i met here which i'm very thankful for and like time with family as well so obviously i wasn't like alone this whole trip but I did spend a lot of time by myself and yeah, I'm really glad that I got to do that. I feel like Taiwan is just a very, very comfortable, friendly and welcoming place to be. So yeah, if any of you are looking to visit Taipei, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun and it's definitely worth it.